Good evening, I'm Shamika Neely. Despite Terre Haute being passed over for new interstate, city leaders are saying the lack of I-69 won't hurt the local economy. WTIU's Dan Goldblatt has the story. The first three sections of Interstate 69 from Evansville to Crane opened last week. That means travelers from Indianapolis soon won't have to go through Terre Haute to get to Evansville on US-41. A route through Terre Haute was considered in the early planning stages, and Terre Haute Mayor Duke Bennett says even though the city had originally hoped the road from Evansville to Indy would come through his city, he isn't worried about the loss of traffic. We may have a few less trucks and cars that come through Terre Haute, but most of them aren't stopping anyway because they're going from Evansville to Indianapolis or vice versa. And I don't really think it's going to have that much of a direct impact. Jeff Holler, the owner of Shadyland Antique Mall on US-41, says even if I-69 had been built through Terre Haute, he doesn't think it would have impacted his business. I mean, we're right on a major highway, Highway 41, and you can see by just a daily traffic flow that goes up and down it, people are going to drive to a retailer that has what they want to buy. The Indiana Department of Transportation will build a bypass that runs from south of I-70 from US-41 to State Road 46 and this is expected to be completed by 2014. It's a road which could bring some traffic back to area businesses. With producer William Wamathai, I'm Dan Goldblatt, WTIU News. IU fans are excited for the first big home game of the season. Several hundred IU students are lining up in front of Assembly Hall to get the best seats for tonight's game between the number one ranked Hoosiers and the 14th ranked North Carolina Tar Heels in the ACC Big Ten Challenge. The game doesn't start until 9.30 tonight, but students with tickets in the general admissions section started camping out early this morning. IU Athletic Director Fred Glass took part in the pregame ritual by passing out candy and shooting t-shirts into the crowd of students trying to stay busy until the gates open at 8. IU is 7 and 5 all time against UNC. Your weather tonight mostly clear, lows in the lower 20s. Tomorrow mostly sunny, highs in the mid 40s. Tomorrow night clear, lows in the mid 20s.